Hello, I'm from the Australian Government. As we head into the worst economic recession in living history, what the nation needs now is leadership, evidence-based policies and bold vision. And fucked if we have those. So instead, we've cooked up something else. That's right. While you've been in lockdown, we too have been busy baking. No, not sourdough. Shit fuckery. The kind your grandkids will still be tasting decades from now. Introducing our disaster economic recovery plan. Derp, 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 derp. Brought to you by the empty ball sack of ideas that is Scott's ministry. Derp will take the money we have for our economic recovery, the one chance we have not to lose a generation to a lifetime of hardship, and throw it in a fucking volcano. Or to put it in lay terms, give it to the gas industry. Gas is what's called a transition fuel. It fuels the transition of dollars from public coffers into the bank accounts of private companies who pay no tax and create shit tons of emissions. Will it create jobs? A volcano would literally employ more people through tourism and provide cheaper heating bills since the volcano can't be exported overseas. Which is exactly what we do with gas and the reason you pay so much for it. Is DERP supported by experts? Yes, the ones we've appointed to our advisory committee, which we've stacked with former gas executives, mining lobbyists and chinless neoliberal spivs. Oh look, there's even a director of a Saudi oil company in there. Cool and normal. Actual experts are saying that instead of DERP, we should invest in renewables, since our own science agency shows they're performing better than coal and gas. But Angus said evidence. Let's invest your money in bullshit solutions like carbon capture, which no credible study says will ever work, but which gives his mates a boner because it lets them keep polluting and making the ching ching. Fantastic, great move. Well done, Angus. Others are saying we should look to history for answers. Remember that time the US government ended the Great Depression by spending massively on a strong social safety net and employing people to build shit tons of stuff? Bridges, roads, hospitals? If only there were an urgent need today for a similar nation-building project, such as decarbonising our economy, which would bring back to our shores high-tech manufacturing jobs, employ millions, and at the same time ensure a living planet for our children. Nope, can't think of one. Besides, we can't afford all that. Well, we could pay for it with the money Josh found behind the couch last week after realising he underestimated JobKeeper by $60 billion. Whoops. And there'd still be enough left over to bail out all those who missed out. And not cut new start back to poverty levels. But why do all that when we can subsidise an industry that manufactures fuck all? Apart from holes in the ground and continent scale bushfires. In order to feed you this turd sandwich, we'll be moving things along fast to try and overwhelm you with shit fuckery. Oh look, we just approved a new coal mine while you couldn't protest. Cause the last thing we want is for you to have time to realise how important this moment of history is, how consequential our choices are at this crucial juncture, and come together to stop us from wasting it with derp. Join us next week for more shit fuckery we cooked up while you're in lockdown. Like our handout to renovate rich people's homes. Instead of public housing and those who lost theirs in the fires. Australian government. Lol, we're going to get us all killed. Authorised by the Department for Wasting Historic Opportunities.